Hey guys, this is Tizio with Engineers. We're here in my studio in Los Angeles, California, and we're gonna be doing a little plug-in tutorial on how I use the Neutron 3 EQ, which is sort of my shaping EQ that I use. The song today is a song called Daggers from an artist named Krush that I work with a lot. Let's just play you the record from the top. I'm just gonna play it up to the end of the hook so you can kind of hear it and then we'll jump right in. It's raining daggers outside. I should stay in, but I gotta get out of this house of cards I've built. Where will I live when it all comes crashing down? Ooh, all these strangers in my house. And what are they all even talking about? Wow. I plead the. All right, cool. So let's jump in. The section that I'm gonna mix and show the demo on is the post hook. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by, we're gonna just inactivate all the plugins on here and I'm gonna play what this vocal sounds like raw without any plugins coming off of the first section of the hook into the post. Live when it all comes crashing down. Ooh, all these strangers in my and what are they all even talking about? So when Cruz sent me the vocals, like he's got his own treatment and his own dope effects that he does with his vocals. So I just ask him to print everything and then I work off of what he gave me. So first thing, and I, I'm, I'm not going to do it from the top. I'm going to bring in a couple plugins in and then I'm going to show you what I do with the Neutron. First thing is this Pro-Q3, which I really started to dig into all Ooh, these. All these strangers in my and what are they all? So I'm just going in and sort of trying to grab any of those pokey things and level them out a little bit just to give me a, a better playing field. After that, a very tiny amount of 10K. This boost will vary depending on what I need. I didn't really need too much for these vocals. They come in pretty, pretty bright already. Um, and the next thing is this uh, Universal Audio, which I... you probably seen I, I love the silver face uh, 1176 so I'll play it with just these three things and then we'll build out the rest of it together Ooh, all these strangers in my house. and you can already tell the vocals already a lot more squeezed than when it was without this 1176 so it's already little by little I'm starting to bring it into pocket and get the dynamics where I want it um, so let's do a new neutron 3q well, you know what? We're going to delete what I did here and go to default. Okay, cool. So this is what I'll do. I'll get to this section here. I'll pull up the uh, the Neutron 3 and then we'll loop it. Ooh, all these strangers in my house. And what are they all even talking about? Wow. So I'm just going through and I'm finding sections where those those frequencies are just bad, not useful frequencies. Usually the 2K area, 4K area, those are pretty bad. So I'll find those areas and just duck them just a little bit. That All those little moves bring me closer and closer to what I want the picture to look like. Ooh, all these changes in my See that frequency right there? That's automatically. Right here. This is a little, these cues and, and everything is more rounded off than when I use the Pro-Q. The Pro-Q is more dug in there. These are a little bit broader. This is sort of a muddy frequency. It's just a little bit cleaner. Then I hit it with the R Vokes. A little bit of Soothe. Sort of smoothing this area a little bit. Deesser. And again, you saw 
in some of the other records that I had done, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's here. For this record, it was sort of something between 3K and 9K. Ooh, all these in my house. Let's hear it without that. Ooh, all these you can really hear it when he says strangers without the DS run. It's a lot more controlled there. And don't be afraid to compress. That last compressor needs to be doing all the remaining work, you know, that's left over. Again, without anything. Perfect. All right, guys, that was my plug-in breakdown for how I use the Neutron 3 EQ on vocals. Let me know what you guys think.